this is chilling. What more can I say? Top villain. What up, everybody? This is your boy Bill Bellamy, and you're listening to the number one podcast in the nation, Top Billing, the number one podcast for the culture, the movement, and the discussion. Today, I have a very, very special guest that I went through some hoops, turned around, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I had to check with these people, my people, to get back to these people. We got back to my people. Today, we are going to learn how to live a healthier life. We're going to get educated on what's good for our bodies and not. Today, I have have my special guest brother yaki rafa elohim he is here if you know him you follow him on social media platforms he is yaki awakened i am excited the brother is a master herbalist a certified biochemist it's real as it gets and he young and he black and he is powerful let's go oh, let's go i like let's that go. i like that introduction yes brother. Yes, because information is powerful. Yes, and um, and I thank God for this aspect of social media because you get to see people that you might not necessarily meet right, right away. Right, right. And so I guess because I'm into the health stuff, mm -hmm. you popped up in my feed one day, and I was like, I was like, skirt, <laughs> and I started listening to you, and I was like, wow, this brother here is making so much sense. And you referenced Doctor Sabi a couple times, so I was like, oh, okay, so he really on it. And um, you were just talking about this journey to a healthier life. Yeah. What was the beginning for you to, to say, you know what, I'm going to take all my knowledge that I have that I went to school for and help people live a better life? Uh, man, that's an interesting uh, question and topic. But what happened was uh, I was actually sick in my younger years. Okay. At the age of 21, I suffered from a heart attack. No way. Uh, yeah, man, I had a heart attack. I had scar tissue on my heart. Uh, my kidneys was failing. I had diabetes mellitus. I had uh, hypertension, high blood pressure, erectile dysfunction at the age of 21. So I ended up having a heart attack. Uh, yeah, man, running wow. in the streets, you know, not clowning, eat, not eating correctly. Not getting no breasts. No, nah, not getting none at all. Mm. Uh, you know, just being in the streets, running with grant gangs, uh, doing drugs, just all types of stuff I wasn't supposed to be doing. And, you know, once you when you live a life of toxicity like that, it, it, you get backed up and it, it, it tends to start attacking you, you know. Correct. So uh, that's what happened, man. I had that heart attack. And once I had that heart attack, I was in a hospital. It scared me straight. My mama, everybody was telling me, slow down, slow down, slow down. You're going to end up dead or you're going to end up in prison. Slow down. Mm -hmm. And I didn't slow down. But when I had that heart attack, something spiritually happened to me in, the, in that hospital room on that bed, man. That doctor looked at me and was like, if you, if you do this again, you might not make it back. And, man, it scared me straight. I went home. I kicked over all of my medicine. I'm mad at myself. I'm mad at life. I'm mad at God. Mm -hmm. I'm mad at everybody. And for the first time in my life, I realized this ain't God's fault. This ain't my mama fault. This yeah. ain't the streets fault. This ain't my daddy fault. This is me. I'm the one choosing to put these to toxic substances in my body. Yes. I gave myself the so-called heart attack. Yeah. And from from there, I'm like, man, I'm done taking this medicine. I'm 21. I can't get an erection because the hypertension medicine wouldn't allow me to get proper blood flow down you there. Get no blood flow. You, so I'm like, you know what? Let me Google and see if I can find some natural remedies, man. I end up googling stuff. Uh, it sent me to YouTube. Get on YouTube. Uh, this Caucasian male, uh, Caucasian male popped up. He saw my all these natural remedies, but I really couldn't feel them because I just couldn't relate to them. But YouTube had just came out with something where if the video go off, a new suggestion come on. And guess who popped up? A tall, skinny, bald head man with a little gray beard. <laughs> Talking about, I done healed sickle cell anemia, oh my leukemia, God. Herpes, herpes, HIV, lupus. And I'm like, man, he is lying through his teeth. Right. But I kept listening because something resonated with me. And then as I kept listening and how simplistic he was, it made sense. Yes, sir. Man, literally, I have an addictive personality, brother. 48 hours straight, I didn't go to sleep. I watched every last one of his videos, man. No way. So I ended up finding out his wife's name, his children's name. And then uh, the last video I watched was talking about the fig tree out in New York and talking about how his wife, my eye, ran it and they put a number at the bottom. So, man, I'm harassing them. I'm blowing them up. <laughs> I'm like, look, I just need healing. I'll pay whatever I need to pay. Right. And uh, I ended up getting in contact with uh, my eye and uh, her assistant. 
And they ended up, you know, just telling me things, telling me about the alkaline diet. And this before, this is me first getting in. This is before I started doing my own research and stuff. So they was telling me about the alkaline diet and, you know, certain herbs that I can take and all of that. So uh, I ended up taking the information and applying it. So as I started applying the information, I'm like, man, I know this go deeper than this. I know because when you go into nature, I notice they don't cook food. So I'm like, it got to be something deeper than this. So yeah. I started studying nature, started uh, studying raw food is and, you know, not cooking your food and taking herbs so i ended up taking a herbology class uh i did that for a few years uh and then after that i ended up enrolling in school to become a biochemist but as i was doing it i was already messing with my own own herbs and taking my own concoctions and man i ended up healing myself i went on a 120 day juice fast nothing but liquids i messed up like three times though but so how out of that 120 days uh literally like a hundred and 17 days nothing but juice liquids so i took that man uh I, i'm five five you see that i'm not tall at all i'm right. five five i had weighed over i had weighed over 260 pounds you lying Su super big man i'm talking about big man within the first week i lost 60 pounds first week on the juice fast lost 60 pounds man i ended up getting down to 134 super super little Whoa. man all them toxins came out of my body man i went back after 140 days and uh of taking the juice and uh taking the herb concoction that i made man i did not have no more high uh scar tissue on my heart i didn't have diabetes no more and this is on an all fruit diet showing you that the, uh, the 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 academics that the curriculum is lying because they say that fruit sugar fruit or fructose actually causes you to raise your blood sugar they'll right. tell you that but i was on all fruit juice and i healed myself of diabetes I was on all fruit juice and a few herbs and I healed myself of the scar tissue on my heart. I regenerated the cellular tissue you feel, to make up my, my, my heart. Body nothing but goodness. Yes, nothing but pure energy, pure nutrients, wow. amino acids, minerals, the essential phytonutrients you need, everything that I needed was in those fruit. And I just juiced it. And man, it flushed my system. And then that's when I realized obesity is not you just packing on fat. Fat is to hold toxins. And if you get rid of the toxins, guess what you get rid of? The, the fat. fat. So things just started making sense. But remind you, I'm, I'm in school learning biochemistry. I'm in school learning about herbology. I'm in school learning about anatomy and physiology. So what I'm learning from, from me having hands-on experience in clinical trials, and I'm matching it with the books where I got my certifications at, the shit was lining up. It was right. not lining up. So that's when I realized should i say what the true enemy was the true enemy was the information and knowledge that is actually being pushed upon our community and our Absolutely. people it's not the right information and once i did that man uh i end up healing myself uh from there my mama seen that i healed my mom of high blood pressure hypertension uh, i started healing everybody in my family and then uh you know i'm an ex-gang member so my, my my homeboys from my neighborhood like man look i got some got, things going hey, on gang, too hey gang makers want to get <laughs> hey, yeah, they want to get healed too <laughs> seriously <no. laughs> so, hey bro hey bro it'd be the hardest dude like look fam on everything man yeah help my heart <laughs> yeah but what's crazy yeah. is it when you start when you start looking out and loving yourself it changes your your perception of reality because we got robbers murderers coming saying look i want to live now Absolutely. they weren't talking to it at first Absolutely. so man they get on they diet they change man and for after that man it went worldwide i ended up getting uh getting in contact with a few celebrities because i was doing things uh i ended up healing somebody in st louis missouri they had a connection to a basketball player mm -hmm. and uh I, I can't say his name but i ended up healing him of uh herpes and hsv one and two so i healed him of herpes man and he just spread my name oh yeah through. if you get if it you get herpes off on somebody yeah you get, <laughs> and that's when it took that's off that's like putting a brother back in the game yeah. i'm in coach Ooh, yeah you know so what, what he mean? did he ended up telling everybody uh about me in the industry mm -hmm. and then uh he ended up paying for my first seminar and that's what did it man that first seminar and it, it it spread like a wildfire so now you know we sell millions and millions and millions of healing products a year uh, uh i have what over, a great story yeah man it's crazy man like i'm I, me right now still i wake up and i'll be like this shit is a dream. It is, man. And, and it came from your adversity, right? And this is the thing that I want to say to people that are watching and listening. A lot of times we don't see the gift in, in the obstacle, right? You 21, you, you ain't supposed to have heart disease or any type of thing like that. You so young, you yeah. know? But 
you you're not eating right. Not at all. At all. And you probably if you're that heavy, you're eating fatty like you're eating stuff that your body can't even process. Yeah. So I come from a, a Hebraic background, a Hebrew Israelite background, and uh, we was known for eating a lot of lamb, a lot of goat, uh, oxtail stew, stuff like that. So I'm eating that stuff every day. And then I didn't have no recollection recollection of what the eternal clock was, uh, the circadian rhythm, uh, the times of the day that you're supposed to eat, giving your body and your intestinal tract time to actually uh, digest your food. I didn't know nothing about that. You know, I was an emotional eater because I, I went through a lot of trauma when I was when I was little. So, you know, whenever I went through that trauma when I was older, I used to eat, emotionally eat, man. And just doing that day in, day out, drinking, smoking, doing recreational drugs, man, it takes a toll on you. You know, and I was wondering how I wasn't healing fast. And I had to realize, man, you spent 21 of your years, you know, being super, super toxic. You ain't finna heal overnight. But man, when I really took that sacrifice and I said, you know what? I'm not going to eat nothing solid. I'm going to go on a solid food vacation. I'm going to drink nothing but juice. And most of it was melon juice, watermelon juice. And I did that for 120 days. And I took some herbs that I made up, man. I focused on my liver. I focused on my kidneys. I focused on my blood and my lymphatic system. Okay. Man, I did that for 120 days. Every disease I had was gone. The doctors was wonder asking me they what bugging. I did. <laughs> they bugging, man. They bugging. And then so, and what happened was I lost weight so rapidly that i had like loose skin and everything so then i had to learn about how to tighten my skin back up i didn't even know that your thyroid and your parathyroid is in control of your connective tissue so then i had to heal my thyroid and my, my skin started getting firm again man i look like a totally different person man bro so so he, here's the thing that blows my mind right the food industry mm -hmm. um is a, is a huge business yes right a trillion dollar business it's, it's huge you yes. know they don't want us to eat healthy. Like it costs me so much money to eat healthy, yeah. right? Um, fast food, a dollar. Yeah. Three cheeseburgers for three dollars. Yeah, you know, like all the cheap stuff that's not good for you is so affordable, right? Yeah. I can go to Whole Foods, and I'm exaggerating, but I swear to God, like one time I spent, I bought like eight apples. I love apples, right? Because yeah. they're easy. You put them in hand, put them in the yeah. room, pop, pop, pop. I might have spent like twelve dollars for for six apples. Yes, right. And, yeah, and see, this is the reason why we push grow your own, right. grow your own, sow your own seeds, grow your own seeds, eat your own fruits. See, because if you do go, they are gonna tax you, especially if it's organic. They gonna tax you. So if we just get those same seeds and plant our own apple trees, or we find a, a certain nursery in our local area, and we can go buy a tree for seventy two dollars, an organic tree, and you plant it in the ground two to three years later, you are harvesting fruit from that tree that you don't have to pay nobody for yeah. and that's the reason why we need to start pushing growing our own food and seed sovereignty to our people because we don't really know enough about farming when that's our ancestral line that's where we come from we come from an ancestral line of farmers of kings of queens Absolutely. of sowers you know like we literally built civilization so all of that knowledge is still within our dna but we can never tap into our akashic records and really figure out who we is what we is why we is and where we is until we start eating correctly the food is like a drug and it keeps us literally sedated in sleep so the moment we start eating the right food for our molecular structure we can detoxify the body once those toxins are out of our body everything will make sense now you be like hold on why am i in the store spending 12 dollars on apples when i can just spend 72 dollars on an apple tree and never buy an apple again in my life <laughs> you see what i'm saying you see what <laughs> seriously though <no>, brother <laughs> Yo, yo, that is so fire. Yo, that is so fire. You just touched my spirit with that. But listen, listen, this is so funny, right? So on my property, I had, before, I, I it killed me, man, to chop down these two apple trees, right? I had so many apples. When people would come to my house, yeah. I would give you a bucket. Like I start buying buckets. I give you like fifteen apples. Like yo, and we used to make you know different things with the apples and stuff. But they was growing so, f and they were f bro. Let me tell you something. When you grow your own fruit, you yeah. are not lying. Yeah. It tastes different. Yeah, way different because way there's no different. herbicides, insecticides, pesticides sprayed on them. Nothing. You know, and, and, and usually you're eating in your local area and where you stay at your gut microbiota. It literally molds and shape to the area that you at so just based off of that alone it does something to the molecular structure because you have something called the microbiome or the microbiota or the microbiota whereas these gut bacterias mm -hmm. that line the intestinal tract okay. and they literally adapt to where you live at 
That's why certain people can eat and then go over to Africa and eat, and it can be healthy food, but they be throwing up. They got the runs. Your body can't do it. Yeah, and the reason why is because the gut bacteria is not used to those type of types of food. That's why you see people that eat local in the area that they stay at. They live twenty years longer. This statistically now uh, or in academic, right? But they live twenty years longer. Why is that? Because they're eating the food that they that they gut microbiota is used to breaking down and fermenting and digesting. Uh. You see that? that so the food will sense. always taste different, man. But growing your own food is true freedom. If you look at what freedom is, everybody say, you know, they're chasing the bag. And then when okay. you ask them why they're chasing the bag, they say to take care of my family. You ask them what is the value of taking care of the family, they're going to say, well, I got to pay bills. So then you ask them what these bills is. The first thing they say is water. Well, if you can, you know, hustle up some money and have somebody dig a well in your backyard, guess what you don't have? A water bill. If you grow your own food, you ain't got to go to the grocery store no more. So you can't talk about buying food. If you install solar panels on your house and you realize how free energy work, you don't have to pay electrical bill. If everything is electric, then you don't need to do gas. If you build your house and buy your own land, then you don't have a, a mortgage. That is true sovereignty right there. So I think that's the new education and the new curriculum that we need to start teaching our people is to own everything and the way you own everything is you just get your own land once you get your own land you build and you sustain yourself on that land so we just need to change the educational system instead of teaching mathematics and all of this other stuff of course you need your basic fundamentals of math and of reading that way we can get around and still live in the matrix if we choose to but if you teach people how to grow their own food how to siphon their own water how to build all the things that they took out of the schools which is the trades and you start putting this in homeschooling and teaching this to the children this will change the whole entire interaction between us and our environment wow it is so deep because as i'm listening to you i i'm thinking about when i was a kid like uh -huh. you know my grandparents um i spent a lot of summers with my grandparents that's powerful and uh farm we lack that in this generation yeah we i lack the grand every summer man. three four months with my grandparents fishing um i i drove the tractor we, you see what I'm we saying? tilled the land you see what i'm saying bro bro i honestly you blowing my mind i don't realize i didn't realize how gifted that experience was because we had corn we had uh okra we had our own tomatoes our own watermelon we had our own Freedom. um green beans field peas uh black eye like 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 i'm bugging like because i used to say to my grandmother why can't we go to the supermarket she said well, for what yeah we only going for supplies. Yeah, supermarket in the backyard. <laughs> the the freedom, the freedom in that, the it's feeling crazy. in that, and that's how you mold and shape the minds of your children. Not only just for health, but for generational wealth. Right. You know, because it's a difference to going to a grocery store and realizing and seeing somebody else's last name on that grocery store, but then going to your grandma's and your grandpa's backyard and you got the same last name as them, yes. and you get to pick your groceries from the the yard and property that you own that is a total different feeling you know yeah. and, and if you look and you look at all of these different shops and if you look at all of these different logos these are other people names and we're buying and exchanging with other people but if you look at our people in our community and what we doing we don't own anything so man moment of silence to your grandmother and your grandfather for even putting you in that that type of position because that mold and structured your dna and your dendrites of your brain to even give you a sense of ownership doing that right now is probably why you build today seriously because they install something in you that you probably didn't even know that was going to come saying. out later in life man Bro. so moment of silence real quick for them seriously i say oh man you just man you just i knew i knew meeting you was purposeful i knew you coming here was going to electrify me and like the the most common thing that people say about me is damn bill how you look the same yeah you man you, you look good man you look the same bro right right that's what everybody <laughs> says but i was on the nutrition path a long mm -hmm. time ago like yeah. i i wasn't as 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 savvy as you i'm not an herbalist and all that but i was like yo man i'm getting down with these blueberries yeah yeah i'm getting down with these mangoes yeah i'm getting down with these peaches i'm getting down with you know watermelon like watermelon people don't realize it's such a great fruit fruit for us it's one of the best fruits and In what's crazy world. is if you look at the you have something <laughs> called melanin or what everybody call melanin it's yes. really called melanin then you have watermelon or watermelon right. and if you look at the pigmentation of watermelon or you just look at the pigmentation of the blueberries you was yeah. talking about each different color could 
connects with the spectrum of what they would call the electrical magnetic radiation frequency of the sun and it, it feeds these foods different types of phytonutrients that rebuilds or what you would call our molecular structure for instance watermelon have something called lysopin in it and that's right. what makes it red mm -hmm. same thing for tomatoes same thing for the figs same right. thing for oranges this is called lysopin lysopin is nothing but melanin of watermelons just to, and if you look at a blueberry a blackberry they have a melanin content in it or what you would call chromophores okay all right chromophores it's just the melanin of these different fruits called anthocyanins and if you start looking at these different colors and pigmentations uh they actually have a frequency to them and this frequency raises your vibrational hertz of your body and it keeps you operating and, and basically because we all are god we are self-reflecting mirrors and images of god that's why if you read in the scriptures it says that we were made after his image and after his likeness well if you look at that we have those same type of reflections in us and in order to reach those heights though you have to vibrate at a certain frequency tell me why when you eat fruits they bring you to that frequency Bro. every fruit have yeah, a, a angstroms of energy so for instance if you look at fruits they vibrate and they they yield literally twelve thousand angstroms of energy when you eat every 10 units of their fruit when you do vegetables they yield nine thousand angstroms of energy every time you eat that vegetable 10 units of that vegetable when you get down to meat and things and beans and stuff like that and, and grains just very very uh, uh what you would call thick gooey dense. types of stuff yeah. dense food three thousand angstroms of energy so three all the way up to nine you done skip that's six thousand six hundred thousand because remember every time you go up you have to go ten then from the ten you got to go a hundred from the hundreds you got to go a thousand wow. from the thousand you got to go ten just like in math so we literally talking about hundreds of thousands of angstroms of energy over the actual meats and over the corn and over these heavy dense foods when you can just eat light and keep that vibrational energy and a good thing about fruits and vegetables not only do you build the molecular structure when you eat them because they replace all the things that you're getting rid of anyway through that recycling that we go through or what they call cellular mitosis or cellular uh, meiosis or apoptosis all these big old words <laughs> we, can, we can just keep it simple right you you're not only replacing the cellular structure but you're feeding the soul and a lot of people don't know how to feed the spirit and the soul a lot of people are just feeding their flesh but when you feed your spirit and your soul it does something to you it energizes you wow. it makes you think more it, it makes you become an actual critical thinker it makes you think about yourself you start looking around and you want to do more for your environment fruit did that to me meat never did that to me dairy products never did that to me Correct. drugs drinking and smoking never did that L what's crazy is this i have metal from here to here I've been shot four times. I had my ribs broke. I had my jaw dislocated and fractured. I've been shot four times. I've been stabbed right here. I almost died of eternal bleeding. Like, and the reason why I say eternal is because we are eternal people. A lot of people right. say internal. But I went through all of that. I used to be like really a hater for my brother. You know, I see my brother wearing the wrong thing or he in my hood doing things that I ain't tell him to do when my hood in the first place. Right. Like I'll be ready to be violent. I was a very violent person against people that look just like me. Did you know after I went vegan or what I'm going to say plant based, man, I, I ran over a squirrel one day on, on an accident. Man, I pulled over and cried, man. Oh, the yeah. same person that used to be fighting, brawling, For getting everything. stabbed. I'm talking about spilling blood. All I'm very vicious person to my brother. Man, I went vegan, went plant based. Man, I hit a squirrel. Man, it broke my heart. Cause, cause, it, cause you. <laughs> the thing about that, we can laugh, but in, in, in reality, what you're saying is you found a different purpose. I really did yeah. through through the food, man. Through the food, through the food, showing you that food is psychological. It's psychology and you can tell you can sit somebody down in front of me right and and they can tell me they diseases and i can i'm talking about to the t i can tell you what they've been eating i can tell you what they've been eating as soon as you say as soon as they say i got diabetes i can tell you oh, okay you've been on dark meat soon they tell me i got breast cancer oh you've been on meat and organic meat you've been on inorganic fruits and vegetables you eat a lot of dairy products that's a lot of lactic acid built up that's a lot of carbonic acid uric acid built up you you suffering from metabolic acidosis from your diet oh i'm schizophrenic oh your gut is messed up from the foods you eating you're going through putrefaction in your gut you have parasites probably toxioplasma that then pass the blood and brain barrier that you got from your fish 
So all of these different type of psychological uh, ailments that we are suffering from and all these different physical ailments that we're suffering from is literally coming from the food that is being put in the communities by the big food industry. But when you start really studying the big food industry and who owns them, they're actually controlled by the pharmaceutical companies. So Bam. it's it's this it's this rat race or this cycle or this matrix that we're going through. Let's feed them the food to get them sick. Once they get sick, let's provide them the antidote to make them sicker. Once we provide them the antidote that make them sicker, let them die. And we can make money off the insurance. We can make money off their death. You see that? And our whole population control eugenics uh, uh, program will still will still be in full effect because the whole thing is to eliminate two thirds of this earth. That's the whole plan. And right. we and we have and this stuff is in the documents. These people are saying it they self, like your Bill Gates, your Henry Kissingers, your DuPonts. You start looking this stuff up, it's in there. They're not even hiding it from us, but we so sedated off of their medicine or what I like to call witchcraft potions that they call pharmaceuticals and foods, because now I, I equivalent pharmaceutical drugs and big food industry foods is the same thing. It's, it's all just, a it's drug. All, it's all and it all drug. have daily side effects to Correct. it. Once we get off that and we detoxify, we're able to get our consciousness back. And one thing about a black man and a black woman that's conscious, they cannot be stopped. And that's the whole thing. The whole thing was to deindustrialize the schools. It was to break up the black family, snatch the black man out of the household, feed them all of these corruptible foods, take them away from the sun, put them in nine to five buildings, away from the light because we are children of the sun. The, being in the sun heals you yourself. That's how amazing bro, the sun is. I love is. the sun, bro. I don't even. And let me tell you something. My wife will always say to me, "Oh my God, you always in the sun." Yeah. I don't know what it is. When I'm in the sun, it does something for me. And I, did, I didn't even know. I could I did tell not, you what it does for you. I did you. not know what you was gonna say. I just, just naturally, I don't even know what's like. It's some kind of sub cold in my head. Yeah. I'll be in the sun, just laying there, like almost like I'm getting my uh, my phone charged. Yeah. That, but no, because you literally are being charged. Are you you want to know the science behind it? Please. Okay, so for instance, when you look at what the sun is, the sun, let's just look at it like it's simple uh, electric, electricity class. Okay. The, the sun is the source of electricity, and your cells need to be charged up. That's why you have something called a cell phone, and then you have 150 cells that make up your body. So you have a cell phone and then you have cells in your body. And then when you look at a battery, have you ever seen the name of a battery? It's called an alkaline battery that's made of what? Cells. Yeah. If a cell dies in the battery, the battery won't start the car. Absolutely. If cells die in your body and your body won't regenerate those cells, you die. If your cell phone die, what you got to do? You have to plug it into the source for it can be recharged again, for it can do its daily functioning. Wow. The, the sun is so amazing because if, if it wasn't for the sun, we wouldn't be here. The sun have, have literally manifested all things into physical form. The sun is the first thing that created all matter. And it does it through something called terahertz. And these terahertz is basically wavelengths. And when the wavelengths are very, very far apart, that's where you get the infrared from. Then when it, once it get tighter and tighter and it speeds up and the terahertz get higher, that's where you start looking at the rainbow and it goes through these different color spectrums, right? Wow. Well, check this out. I want to show you how this works. So so your body is made of melanin or what they call melanin right, right. and melanin is a, a superconductor type of material not only that is a polymer meaning it buffers out acids it causes the body to detoxify and it also holds on to magnetic energy and electrical energy at that so you have melanin in your body then you have something called chromophores and what chromophores is if you look inside of a cell because the body is made of 150 trillion cells inside of the cells you have something called a six carbon based ring or what they call benzene rings these are chromophores then you have amino acids so the body is made of minerals the body is made of melanin the body is made of carbon the body is made of amino acids all in water a bunch of water and every function in your body require water so all of these different things when you look them up it's something called chromophores and if you look at what a chromophore is it's literally an element that holds sunlight so you have to ask yourself if the body is made of 150 trillion cells and out of 150 trillion cells, all 150 trillion cells have chromophores, carbons in them to hold sunlight, then what is the purpose of your body then? It's to hold the sunlight and the information. So then when you start looking at what it's for, every biological process in your body requires sunlight. Every oh last one of God. them. Every last one of them. Your blood will not flow without these chromophores getting sunlight. 
So sunlight hits the blood. When sunlight hits the blood, the electrical magnetic frequency folds proteins. When the, protein, when the protein is fold, it gets a signal and it tells the protein what to do. Whether it's going to go through something called protein synthesis, whether it's going to go through uh, protein mitosis and break down and then go through apoptosis and then leave out through, through your urine or through your, your poop by defecation. Your awakening and sleep patterns, the way you wake up and go to sleep. When you wake up, the reason why you wake up is because the sunlight, this infrared uh, light hit the retinas of your eyes and, and, it, and it actually it actually go through something called melanopsis the melaninopsis or the melanopsis wake you up because you just had that blue ra that blue radioactive sunlight in you now as soon as you get up guess what the sunlight do you start producing and releasing serotonin serotonin is what makes you serious it brings on your focus it makes your stomach growl it makes you hungry mm -hmm. you even your your sex is built off of serotonin how much serotonin and testosterone you have that's what makes you want to reproduce and repopulate this is serotonin serotonin is made during the night and released during the morning or during the rising melatonin is actually made during the day and secreted in your bloodstream during the night but all of this is based off of the sun so you can't get any type of hunger pains without the sun you can't break down your food and digest your food without the sun you can't make your blood flow or fold proteins without the sun not only that the sun actually does so you have something called the mitochondria organelle in your cells so me and you sitting up here talking and breathing right now because we're going through a process called cellular respiration. Have you ever heard of that? No, sir. So, so when you look at cellular respiration, it's just a five-step series where glucose is actually turned into carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is actually turned into water, and water in your cells is used as fuel to give you vitality, power, and just the will to live. Whoa. So this is what the mitochondria does. Well, in order for the mitochondria to do that, guess what you need? sunlight it's a fourth phase it's the fourth phase of this five-step re uh, respiratory process that you need to create oxygen and water to give you that power guess what it needs to actually fold those proteins and does that? it needs sunlight and if you look at the process of that when you break open this actual mitochondria it has something called these zinc rings zinc and copper and these these little metal shavings trace minerals that you get from your food but guess what you can't even activate those trace minerals without sunlight so sunlight is essential for life period 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 wow. the sun feeds so the sunlight have this radioactive waves it permeates on trees and plants the trees and plants then go through a process called photosynthesis right. the photosynthesis is basically when chloroplasts and chlorophyll eats the sun once it eats the sun it converts the sunlight over into energy it's free energy at that that's the beautiful thing about the sun we don't have to pay a light bill on the sun it's free energy right. <laughs> god just put it there and turned the lights on perpetually Fling! you see what i'm saying mm -hmm. so look it beats and it permeates on these little chlor chloroplasts pigmentation plant cells right, right. and it's called Chlor chlorophyll it takes that free energy and then from those free energy a chemical process happen and gas is formed from there guess what gas is formed from there oxygen oxygen is a gas well, you, well, so 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 what's crazy so without the sun we won't even have oxygen to because breathe. what gives oxygen to us is the sun taking not only bacteria or what you'll call planktons from the ocean and algae and sea moss and club moss and kelp which is nothing but the sea vegetables of the sea right it does the same thing through the vegetables here on earth it goes through photosynthesis and from photosynthesis chemical processes come and we get oxygen and from that oxygen we get vitality we can go we wow. can go months and months and months and months damn near a year without eating nothing i did 120 days on nothing on nothing but fruit juice so i know that's possible you can go a month without drinking anything but if you are the strongest athlete in the world you only can get up to nine to 13 minutes without oxygen that's how important oxygen is it's essential for life and guess what we would not have oxygen if it wasn't for the, the sun. sun i got a question for you because there's a lot of people here there, there's a lot of people who are listening to you right now and are amazed, right? Mm -hmm. Because you are like a walking uh, 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 Google on health. You're walking, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, like back in the day would be encyclopedia yeah. you know, when we was coming up. What, what about a person right now? It's like, oh, man, I'm at the beginning of my journey. Mm -hmm. um, and I want to just start like because it's hard to just go hardcore to. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Transitional so, stage. I always have fruit in my house. Uh -huh always yeah if my fruit run i'll go back and get fruit we yeah. gotta have something to put in your mouth right what would be like 
the essential f- fruits, just like just a, a nice base to have in the house that people that's healthy for. Okay, is it depends on where you stay at because fruit is seasonal. Even if you stay in like a tropical place, mm-hmm. uh, like LA, LA is technically a tropical place. Or if you go to Miami or Florida, that's technically a tropical place. So fruits is seasonal. So I would say you would have to Google seasonal fruits mm-hmm. and the ones that are dark in pigmentation, the ones that are dark in pigmentations, whether it's anthocyanins, whether it's lysopin, uh, whether it's uh, uh, what you would call beta. Uh, uh, carotene these are all beta carotene is what makes oranges orange that's what's make carrots the colors orange uh when you look at anthocyanins that gives you that very dark purple pigmentation when you look at lysopin that gives you that red pigmentation so look for foods that have melanin in it foods that is very rich in melanin because you are very we are very rich in melanin people Absolutely. and we need to replace those things you have to eat things that's going to replace your cells or so, rebuild so the cells a- apples Apples is amazing. And the good thing about apples is apples literally have all the amino acids that you need in them. Like uh, it's a book that I have. And, it, and it, the bioflavonoids. Yes. And the bioflavonoids of apples is crazy. crazy. The, the tannins. Yes. It's, it's, it's amazing, man. I learned that. So yeah, a man, <laughs> it's a book I got. And it's talk about how a man lived off apples alone. He was a Chinese man. He lived off apples alone for like 20 years. And he was one of the strongest people in China. So and these are these are actually these are studies that's been done clinical studies on paperwork that you can read that they did this on this man. So apples is amazing. If you want a astringent or if you want to cleanse the cells, green apples. That's got a, a plungent, bitter astringent taste to it, meaning it pulls acids out of the cells. If you want something more sweet, get you a red apple. If you want the bitter sweet, both of them, get you one that's mixed with both of the colors. Right. Uh, oranges uh, with seeds are very very good too, especially navel oranges. I noticed I couldn't find a lot of them out here now. Uh, but if you go if you go overseas or you can get online and you can just google exotic fruits they will deliver them right to your door so oranges are very good that's a very astringent so this is what i would say if you want to rebuild the molecular the molecular structure melons watermelon honeydew melon cantaloupe melon yeah. squash cucumber is a melon all melons come from cucumber it's called the cucurbital family. So your ancient watermelon was actually the first cucumber. Then all the then once they started hybriding cucumbers, that's where you get the melons, the melons, uh, watermelons wow. we see now. You see what I'm saying? So so the melon family to rebuild the structure all of the, the body. All the things you just said, I got in my house. That's so crazy. See that? I and uh, so I have the watermelon. Powerful. Very good for you, especially if you drink and stuff and you you dehydrate. Uh, it will bring you, you back. It will bounce you back so fast. You just eat a bunch of watermelon. You feel like you just got dipped in Jesus. Yes. Jesus <laughs> love. G- Jesus sauce. Loves <laughs> Jesus sauce. So the honeydew, yes, definitely. Um, cantaloupe. Amazing. Uh, amazing. I have uh, also apples, peaches. Apple. Yes, peaches figs. is amazing. Figs. Figs is amazing. And the, 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 the whole entire process to create a fig is mind blowing. When you look at the wasps and how the wasps is the plot pollinator yeah. to even create the fig. I can't man. get my. I have two fig trees on my property, man. I can't get to them fast enough. The squirrels yeah, and yeah, everybody. The squirrels, yeah. they, so that's my problem. I got a uh I got a six acre farm in uh St. Louis, Missouri, man. And uh we use three of that to grow foods, man. I got apple trees, peach trees, pear trees, mm. uh uh we I got don't grapefruits got, too. Yeah, man, grapefruits is amazing. We got uh grapes growing on the property, mm. man. So I, I set up all these cameras on the property because every time I come out, my food be gone. But I don't know what to do with the squirrels. So look, it ain't the squirrels with me. It's the deers, man. The deer. Man, the deer, man, the deer love fruit. I'm like, man, deers are frugivores, man. Yo, they would they tell ate all my apples. apples. They ate all my peaches. <laughs> they ate my grapes, man. And they on camera looking at the camera like, yeah, it was me. We out here. We <laughs> <Yeah>. out here. <laughs> Hey, with real talk, like I think a lot of people, um, because of social media and what you're doing is so impactful. Like you definitely, you got the personality and the energy and your passion about it. It made me stop and learn from you, yeah. right? And I had to DM you. I was like, Yaki, like, listen, man, I'm Bill. I hope you know it's really me. I'm interested in having you on my show because that's my that's my lane. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I always try to get my boys to ease up on the chicken wings and the duh, duh, duh. I'm like, dog, man, don't y'all just go to Whole Foods and buy some fruit and put it in your room and knock it out over the weekend and you just said something powerful the less less is more everybody think you just got to stop right now imagine if you eat a chicken plate a day transitional period this is something easy if you eat chicken every day just three days out of that week don't eat chicken that that's how we got to start everybody think right. you just got to put it down super so, super yeah, fast it's too hard now it's too hard so look if you eat chicken monday tuesday wednesday thursday mm-hmm. 
and Friday Just don't eat chicken on Tuesdays and Wednesdays Like you start like that Then next week once you get through that Add an extra day on it Then after you get to that that week The third week add an extra day You're going to look up Damn I only eat chicken on Mondays Why am I even eating chicken anymore Then you put chicken down for good right. So we just have to I, This is what I see Because I deal with hundreds of thousands of clients I see that they want to be like me and I'm like, I've been healing for the last 15 years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they want it in one day. <laughs> yeah, it ain't going to work like that, brother. Uh, uh, no. But you had said something, and I want to finish that thought. You was talking about the basic fruit. So we said the melons. Right. So if you want to rebuild the molecular structure, you want to gain your weight and rebuild the tissues, melons. If you want to estrange and detox your citric fruits, all your, your oranges, your lemons, your limes, your key limes, uh, 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 your grapefruits, uh, your green grapes, your red grapes, all of these are astringent. That's what's going to pull all the acid out of the tissues and rebuild the molecular structure then if you just want things for taste and you just want things to eat and to gain water and stuff like that any other fruits like mangoes and stuff like that so so too. so to astringe the body always use your actual uh your your citric fruits right. to rebuild the body always use your melons. your melons to just sustain the body and keep the body you know in the presence that is in always use any other fruit when I like for me, I work out a lot, right? Uh -huh. And it, I don't want to lose my muscles, so I have to supplement my protein, right? Uh -huh. So I do, I do do my um, my smoothies, but in my smoothies, I'll have pineapple, I'll have strawberries, bananas, um, and I'll throw in uh, my blueberries, blackberries, and stuff. But I but I add protein because if I don't do that and I'm eating just fruit, I'm gonna be be I'm gonna be, hey man. Yeah. So 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 look. So I I would disagree with you because right. then you have to ask yourself if you go to nature right now if okay. we let nature be our classroom right. Okay. Let's ask the gorilla, what you using for protein? It he, don't. He 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 just eating leaves and stuff. Ain't you, he? you see that? Like he just all he eat is leaves and stuff. If we ask the horse. In the cow, what they eating for? These are two ton animals. What they eating for protein? Grass. They eating grass. So I just think it's the perception and what's been pushed on us. We have to realize that we have been lied to by the schools. And if you look at who own these medical colleges, it's the Rockefeller Foundation. Like for instance, uh, if you go to Atlanta right now, you have Spelman. Right. Don't nobody Google who these. Remember I was talking about names earlier. Yeah. Don't nobody Google who Spelman is. That's John D. Rockefeller's wife. That's where Spellman is, and then you start Googling Morehouse and all these different names, they go back to the pharmaceutical companies, these pharmaceutical giants. So who was pushing and teaching education of medicine, of medicine and teaching us this, this periodic chart, this periodic table, teaching us the food pyramids, it was the pharmaceutical companies. Wow. So, so the reason why the protein myth have been pushed on us so much is because they make money, billions and trillions of dollars off of selling protein. Protein means nothing but a simple amino acid structure. That's what we need. We don't need proteins. Proteins are full of too many uh, amino acid structures. So you have something called a simple amino acid structure, which is what we need. Then you have something called a complex amino acid structure, which the hydrocaloric acid inside of our stomachs can't even break down. That's what you call protein. That's why if you look at protein overload diets, what you see, you see gout. It's uric acid buildup. Yep. You see that? You start seeing toenail fungus. That's uric acid and carbonic acid buildup. You so start seeing you, constipation. When you, see, when you see, you said toenail fungus, that's coming from your gut? Yeah, it's coming from your gut. Because what's happening is you have too many proteins inside of the stomach. Remember, the hydrochloric acid is not hot enough to break it down. So what happens is the protein starts to putrefy. When the proteins start to putrefy, the liver starts sent, delivering the pancreas, starts sending these proteins, enzymes to help break it down. So guess what? break the protein down into sugars so these sugars start firming and super slow and then when the sugars firm in super slow you have something called candida albicans which love fermented foods in your stomach so candida and yeast starts building up when candida and yeast build up you create fungus and mold and then what happens is it enters into the bloodstream and it goes throughout the extremities of the body and you start seeing it show up as deposit in all of your fingernails your toenails you start getting dry patches them don't be dry patches them actually be ringworms you start getting dandro on the top of your head. All of this is nothing but fungus and mold trying to come from the body. So when people see toenail fungus actually in the toes, it's a good sign because that means it's trying to leave. It's better in your toenails than in your fingernails, which is at the end of your extremities, than inside the bloodstream tainting the blood because then you die of acidosis. Wow. So, so when, you, when you think about disease, we have been bamboozled and we have been, we have been basically programmed to believe that our body's natural capability of healing itself is a disease and that's why i teach all of my students and all of my clients is you have to pick a side 
if we gonna call it disease then that mean we believe in what they taught us how about we change the perception because perception is what molds and shape your reality so if you look at the symptomologies of what they call disease is actually the body having a miraculous way of actually healing itself because remember we was created in the image and the likeness of god okay. why would god if god is perfect and he create and i ain't gonna even keep saying he let's say he or she because we got people that believe in both and it created you in its image and likeness and it's perfect that mean it will create you to be imperfect no no so we got to pick a side so now once we pick that side and we say okay god created me in this image and in his likeness and her image her uh, likeness whichever one we want to identify we have to say where well, i have an issue here because they saying i have a disease so you we have to change our perception and you have to start studying the actual behavior of what they call in disease when you study it for instance they say let's just do a simple cold and flu right cold and flu you get a fever Mm -hmm. right they will give you something to suppress the fever right but if you look at the actual physiology and the behavior of a fever is to actually heat up the core temperature of the body by raising the actual basal uh, the basal uh what you would call thyrocytes of the thyroid gland to actually kill bacteria in the body not only that that's the reason for a fever to kill bacteria or pathologies right the next thing is to thin the blood out it's a natural blood thinner for you can get all the goodies because remember the blood is what feeds the cells of the body all the phytonutrients Correct. and it feeds the cells of the body oxygen the the actual nervous system is what actually commands and it communicates with the cells of the body then you have something called the lymphatic system that cleanses the cells of the body it's a sewage system so if you look at the blood the blood is the main food supply to every 150 trillion cell in your body so when you get a fever it thins the blood and then what happens is inflammation sets in and it localizes the area for the blood can get there and deliver all the goodies whether it's phytonutrients bioflavonoids like you said yeah. earlier amino acids to rebuild the obstructed area right so they tell you a fever is a bad thing but a fever is thin in the blood and it's killing bacteria and pathology right. so it's it's a, it's the a fever is the body's own um healing mechanism healing. what wow. about a cough <coughs> clearing the lungs you clearing the lungs right. what about a sneeze Achoo. you clearing the maxillary cavities you see that yeah. what about skin disorders oh the skin is taking a poop because the kidneys is not working properly because the kidneys is actually the eliminative organs in your body but if they shutting down and they're not working your body is so smart that it will open up the skin and they will call it skin disorders guess what they would give you they'll give you steroids something that's to suppress the these toxins back into the skin they'll give you cough syrup something to suppress the cough of the mucus back in the bronchial tubes and the respiratory system they give you claritin something to suppress the antigens back into the maxillary and the cephanoid cavities they give you a, all these different suppressive therapies instead of helping the body so when you look at my perception of disease which there is no disease it's the body miraculously healing itself because we are putting acidic forming foods in our body or we are in an acidic environment and when you look at that you'll be like hold on dang i got cancer see they will have you thinking that cancer is a death sentence right but when i look at cancer and somebody tell me they got cancer i clap my hands and the reason why i say that means your body work imagine you having these acids built up in your cells and you never got any symptoms from it you never got any symptoms mm -hmm. so cancer is tumors right when you look at a tumor and you biopsy a tumor or a cell you cut it open guess what comes out of it mucus pus toxemia dead blood tissues acidic waste built up carbon all this is inside of a tumor then you look at where the tumor is located it's damn near like the tumor created a trash bag and put all the trash in the it's tumor to pull it. it away from the blood because if it goes into the blood it changes your blood potential hydrogen and you die of acidosis so cancer is a body trying to heal itself, heal itself. oh my <laughs> bruh i knew bringing you on here was gonna be incredible i i just oh my god you got to come back again of course you can there's there's so much information we can't get to everybody i want y'all to understand this was very purposeful i wanted him to come on the show to educate us to you know give us a different perspective on eating and healing and uh taking care of ourselves our perspective with the with our perspective with nature yes we have to get in nature man get back to nature and I'm a, I wanted to share this with you when you were telling me about how regeneration and I, I think I heard you say this to me um, um, on one of your clips you were saying about how we should walk with our shoes off yes and 
and let our feet touch, touch the, the ground. ground. The ground. So, because we have to rejuvenate. Can you explain that? Because I yes. did it and it, it's real. Okay. So, so basically, it's called grounding the earth thing. Okay. Uh, we have to realize that mother earth is actually our mother she provides everything we need right. when we look at earth so when you look at the earth when you look at the moon and you look at the sun these are the three entities that actually created us these are our our, our two mothers and our, our one father it's kind of like this polygamous polygamous relationship going on we have mother earth we have mother moon then we have father son the sun created us the sun does everything that i just said earlier the moon is actually in control of governing the water retention in our body and our emotions that's why when a woman her a woman's menstrual cycle is governed by the moon her emotions is actually governed by her menstrual cycle showing you that it's a psychology at play when it comes to the moon well earth she does something totally different she detoxifies us not only do she grow plants to detoxify us and grow food for we can eat to eliminate but she has something called electrons trillions of them that emits herself from the actual ground every second of the day and you can get those actual detoxification gifts from mother earth if you just take off your shoes there is no coincidence that why they put rubber soles on our shoes and notice what you call them rubber soles so it's like we're getting soul captured out here they're capturing our souls and we don't even realize it and keeping us from connecting with earth because when you truly ground and connect with earth she naturally detoxify you and how she does it is she pulls off she pulls trillions and trillions of protons out of the body because protons are super super acidic what they does if you look at an atom the protons run around an atom and they try to neutralize themselves by borrowing electrons mm. see that so the more electrons is borrowed from protons the more acidic you become because you don't have any negative actual ions in the body so to get those ions back to regenerate the molecular structure is simply taking off your shoes putting your feet on the ground and wiggling your toes in the grass what earth does is it's something called the field or the electrical magnetic spectrum or grid of the earth and it's full of these different ions and of these quantum mechanical particles that we can't see with the naked eye but they're doing something they have quantum computers to actually measure these things what it does is you take off your shoes and you put your feet on the ground it becomes like this sucking this sucking factory that goes on earth literally takes all of the different negative part i mean positive Positive particles called protons and it pulls it from the body and then it regenerates the body by shooting you with trillions and trillions of what you would call alkaline electrons jesus christ can and, we get a round of applause for that right there just taking off your shoes yeah just so, taking off your and that's why i want to say it's simple things so before we leave the podcast i just want to get them simple things to do okay and and and, and the first thing is i always want to talk about the sun if you are so-called African-American or, or you, you have that melanin or you have melanin sites or melanocytes in you, you need to be in the sun at least two hours a day, direct sunlight. I don't recommend you get in the sun when it's high noon day because it still can burn you whether you got melanin or not. So I say as soon as you get up, once you stretch and you drink your juice, your H3O2 or your H2O, what you will call spring water, immediately go outside. Jumpstart your organs, your eternal organs. Uh, for everybody else that call them internal organs, we are eternal people. Drink your water, jumpstart start the organs because water is a conductivity or a conduit for electricity then go outside and get the electric to get the electric from the sun two hours that will heal your body alone next is after that so we got fire so we're going to heal through the elements first thing is always fire you have to involve fire in healing at least two hours in the fire in the sun next is going to be earth what I was just talking about, grounding, being in nature. There's something that happened to the psychological process of our brains just by looking at green trees. Literally, it makes you happy. There is something called nature deficiency orders. Look it up. You can Google it right now on your iPad. It's called nature deficiency order where people go through a psychological depression and they don't realize why. And then they go into nature for two hours a day and everything and all those suicidal thoughts that they was going through, they don't have them anymore. So they were literally, it's called nature deficiency order, right? So get in nature, not only get in nature, eat from nature, natural organic things that grow from nature, fruits, berries, melons, vegetables, limited seeds, limited nuts, and limited grains. These things are very good for the body and it brings on a detoxification. So we got fire, which is the sun. We got earth, which is everything that she grows inside of the inside of earth and grounding, connecting with earth. You can lay on earth. These things will actually discharge all the negative protons in the body and bring, I mean, all the positive protons in the body and bring in negative uh, electrons to make your body more ionic for it can be more in a balance of homeostasis. So 
So we got fire, we got earth. Next, we have to talk about wind, or what you call air, oxygen, breathing. Diaphragmatic breathing is amazing. Just by, it, 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 you basically elongating your spinal cord and you breathe in through your nasal passage. When you breathe in, you expand your diaphragmatic muscles. So when you breathe in, your stomach go out. Hold it, and then you exhale. Your belly button supposed to touch your spinal cord. Just by doing that exercise, 20 minutes of the day, of the day will literally regenerate a lot of your cellular tissues and it will love them the mitochondria that gives you all of the energy that i was talking about will love it because that's what the body needs to convert sunlight it's oxygen so we have the fire which is the sun, sun. we have the uh we have earth, earth. which is the actual earth right. we got wind which is oxygen uh what's left is what water 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 90 look your body have, so your body have 87% water. Your brain have 97% water, right? But the functioning of your body is 99% water molecules. So technically, your body is made of 99% water. You have to replace that, especially if you're working out, if you're breathing, if you're drinking, if you're eating, because that water dissipates. You need those waters in your cells because in order for the sunlight to penetrate the cells and work in the Golgi apparatus or, uh, of the cell or the cytoplasma of the cell, it needs water to convert sunlight it's called astrio or what you will call exclusion zone water so make sure you drink in the adequate amount of water now what i'm the water i'm talking about is called h3o2 h3o2 is actually fruit juice get more fruit juices in and these things or your coconuts very hydrative cucumber water mm -hmm. very hydrative watermelon juice very hydrative and what i do on a daily basis i make sure that i'm at least drinking 55 ounces of water a day right out of those 55 ounces of water 25 ounces of those water is going to be natural juice that's coming from a juicer the other ounces is going to be natural h2o spring water this will hydrate the body and not only and people think hydration means you liquefying the body no hydration means that you're getting and electrolytes and minerals in the body because the minerals and the electrolytes turn into salt see we're not fresh water creatures we're salt water creatures that's why you have salt or what you would call minerals in your veins you are literally a salt water creature if you look inside of your veins and you check the plasma and the water inside of your cells it got potassium in there you got sodium inside of there you got all these different types of minerals the body can't utilize minerals the body don't need minerals what the body does is when the body get the minerals it metabolizes them and it stick them together as salts and then these salts act like glues and it stick amino acids together and that's what creates what you would call a so-called protein so we need we need fire sun we need earth which is earth, vegetables, discharging. Correct. You see that? We need wind, which is oxygen. And last but not least, we need water. If you do those four things every single day, that will change your life, which you still eating the stuff that you eating. Showing you that. So, and that's going to encourage you to quit eating the bull crap. Yeah, yeah. and get, get on point. See that? So look, everybody's, everybody's scared to change their diet, right? How about don't change your diet right now? Just add to your diet. Add more fruits and vegetables. Start grounding, add earth, get in the sun two hours a day. You know, start add fire, start breathing more. Yeah. Be around oxygen trees more, yeah. add wind. Last but not least, start drinking at least 50 to 55 ounces of water a day. Use water, use you, those four elements. Life man, look, you ain't gonna wanna eat the chicken wing no more. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yaki, man, you are, <laughs> you are a gift to us, man. Oh, praise you. You are a gift to our people. You are a gift to the world when you can break it down, make it understandable. It's very intimidating for people to hear that kind of information. It seems like a tall mountain to climb. Like he said, chip at it. Brick you, by brick, man. Just brick by brick. Just add a piece. Add some fruit. Add more water. Add getting outside with your shoes on. I walk every day, two, three miles a day. I'm out. I love nature. Yes. I take pictures of nature. Didn't even know I, it, it did something for me. Yeah. I just liked it. Yeah, I didn't yeah. Because it, 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 literally, it literally makes you feel like you're not alone. Mother Earth is alive, man. There's not only electrical magnetic entities here, but it's the electrical magnetic grid of the Earth. Just by being in nature makes you full. Because oh. you are a part of nature. And I'm glad you just said something very important. You said you walk two to three miles every day. There was a study d done that showed just by increasing your steps to 2,500 steps a day, it will literally lower your cardiovascular system disease because everybody essentially die of heart disease. It will lower the risk of heart disease by 34% just by, I'm talking about keeping your regular diet and just walking 2,500 steps a day. <laughs> Get 
your ass out and walk. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously though. So this is what I'm trying to say. Man, I'm, I'm, so, so happy I'm just glad you brought up you came on here and you said, look, let's make this digestible. Give us some our people, they hard headed. Give us something they can do to change now. Just something small. So I the reason why I love this podcast so much because these are small things. We not here telling you to basically die or live. We telling you little brick by brick, step by step. Yes. There's little things that you can do and change in your daily schedule that will change your whole entire life. Can we give a round of applause for Yaki? We are here. We are purposeful. This is only on top billing. This is a top billing exclusive. Yaki, man, I love what you're doing for the culture, man. We need this. This is a strong arm in the culture for us. We need to be healthy. We need to stay grounded with Mother Earth. Everything that he said is true. I hope you guys enjoyed this podcast as much as I have. I learned stuff I didn't even know. Oh, and I'm supposed to be, you know, on the health ride. And I learned a lot of valuable information today. Make sure you check this episode out. It's on every platform from Apple Podcasts, Spotify, yes. YouTube. We everywhere. This is Top Billing. We out. Peace. Peace. Key in the building. St. Louis, we up! St. Louis, we here.